All right, it's fall. You know what that means. Pumpkin spice, woohoo! <laughs> no, not pumpkin spice. Today we're doing apple pie moonshine with a hint of caramel. This one's gonna be epic. You guys are gonna enjoy it. My name is Rich. This is Rex Barbecue and Grill. Okay, apple pie moonshine, specifically caramel apple pie moonshine. Real simple recipe, uh, I make this every fall and the rest of my cooks I'm usually sipping on it. So, really easy, get yourself a pot, there's a stove, I'm outside so I'm using my butane burner. We're just gonna start with one gallon of apple cider. Get that into the pot first. You can use apple juice, you can use a half gallon of apple juice and a half gallon of apple cider. Uh, whichever way you like, I usually just use the apple cider. I have done the half and half before, just as good. A little bit less pulp when you're using straight apple cider you'll get a little bit of that sediment on the bottom of the jars once you finish everything up so now that it's in we're the alcohol is going to go in last obviously right if we put the alcohol in now we're going to burn it right off and it won't have the potency that we want and to the apple juice we're going to add in one cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar, light or dark, doesn't really matter. Whichever you prefer. About a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. I'm just winging this today. That looks about right. Ground cinnamon is in, and then we wanna add in six whole cloves. There's six. And then finally we wanna add in 20 cinnamon sticks. Now, the cinnamon sticks, that I have are the short ones, so that's why I'm doing 20. Sometimes you can get them, they're twice as long. If you got the twice as long ones, 10 will be just fine. Uh, so again, they're short, so I'm putting in 20 of them. Fire up the burner. Give it a good stir. And we wanna bring this up to a rolling boil. As soon as it starts to boil, we're gonna crank it down to a slow simmer. So we'll let that go for a few minutes until it comes up to a boil. Okay, we're at a rolling boil now. I'm gonna give this a quick stir, just to tame it down a little bit. Turn our flame down. We're gonna let that simmer for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally to make sure everything is blended together, not sticking to the edges. Get all of those flavors melded together, the cinnamon sticks, the cloves. So 20 minutes for a simmer, then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, the apple cider has been simmering for 20 minutes, along with all the sugars and the cinnamon sticks, everything else we put in here. So we're just gonna shut off the heat. We need to let this cool down before we add the alcohol. So we're gonna let it sit here for about an hour so the temperature drops down. Like I mentioned before, if you add the alcohol while you're cooking or even immediately afterwards, you're gonna burn some, if not all the alcohol content out of this stuff, and we don't want that. <laughs> so while this is cooling, let's talk about the alcohol. We're gonna be putting in um, two bottles of Everclear 151, as well as some uh, caramel vodka that is 30% alcohol. If you follow the recipe exactly, you'll end up with the caramel apple pie moonshine that's at 45 proof. So it's relatively strong, depends on what kind of a drinker you are. But using Everclear, which is a pretty much a tasteless grain alcohol anyways, you're not gonna taste any of the alcohol, so that's the first tip. Be careful with this stuff, especially if you don't drink a lot. It goes down pretty easy um, and then hits you later, right? So just sip on it, enjoy it. Um, there's math that's involved in this. That's how I know it's 45 proof. There's actually a formula that you can follow that'll determine how much alcohol content will be in the final product. I'll have the link like I always do to the recipe to make this on my website, as well as that formula, and I'll get more detail about it. And you just don't know, right? You're just kind of guessing and drinking and so, Use the formula, unless you're happy with 45 proof, use the recipe, and uh, this is the perfect balance. I played with this a lot. I make this every fall, like I said. So, got it to where I liked it. Um, my wife, who is not a big drinker, especially not with anything that's that high of a proof, she loves this stuff, and, and she knows to take it easy on it, too. So, um, we'll let this cool down for about an hour, and we'll get the alcohol in it, and move on from there. Okay, we've been cooling down for a little over an hour. It's still a little bit warm, but not hot enough to affect the alcohol. So, get the burner out of the way. 
and I like to put them in mason jars just because it's moonshine and you know makes it more authentic but what we're gonna do is just we have the cinnamon sticks still in the pot but we're gonna put fresh ones in again I've got little half ones if you've got the longer ones I cut them in half mainly just so they fit in the jar nicely we're gonna fill each of these jars with our own cinnamon stick and you should get about 12 to 14 pint sized mason jars filled with this if I remember correctly. This stuff smells awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is an awesome fall time beverage. Okay, now the good ingredients, right? Two bottles of Everclear 151. And then for our caramel, we got some uh, Smirnoff Kissed Caramel. Give everything a good mix together and once it's mixed that's good right it's not gonna alcohol is not gonna settle to the bottom or the the apple cider is not gonna settle to the bottom and the alcohol floats to the top the only thing you'll see on the bottom of these is maybe some of the pulp from the apple cider uh, but it, it stays mixed so now it's mixed we're gonna take one of our mason jars keep in mind you have the whole cloves in here so just watch for it when you're pouring it's not gonna hurt anybody but if they get a piece of that in their mouth they'll wonder what you're giving them so we're just going to fill each of our mason jars up with the moonshine, cap it off, and we'll get them into the refrigerator. I'm going to knock out the rest of these, let them cool down for a little bit, give them a taste. I know they're going to be awesome. I love this stuff. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're chilled down a little bit in the refrigerator. Time to give this stuff a shot, man. This is going to be your new favorite fall time drink. Cheers, everybody. Great stuff, man, I'm telling you. No alcohol taste to it. You can taste the, the apple cider, the cinnamon, the sugars. It's just a perfect blend. Like I said, about 45 proof, so take it easy with it. I'll leave a link in the description to the recipe. Also on that page, I'll have the formula, so if you want to adjust this to get to the alcohol content that you want, and give a better explanation of how to use it. All the information will be on my website for you. Once again, thanks for everybody's time. I appreciate you watching. Hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons down below. And if you feel like you want to support the channel, there's a thanks button down there nowadays too. I'd appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.